of what was women surrounded the RCMP truck and blocked the truck in. Twelve other RCMP officers were called into the site, but the woman stood their ground and and they end up de-arresting him. We went there to reject the treaty process because it's violating our indigenous uh, human rights. As the Sihuatmuk women and as the decision makers in our territory, we went up there and it was one of the Sihuatmuk men that went into the polling station in Williams Lake and the ballots were taken and the ballots were burnt. We say that the treaty process is one of the main issues that we are facing because by surrendering our land to the province of British Columbia, we are allowing them to go full force in with the resource extraction industry that we are battling so hard against. Sikwamuk territory has also been the home of or the last time that there was ever an armed standoff for our land here in Canada at the Gustafson Lake standoff. And then you fast forward to to 2014 when the Mount Polly disaster happened. The same issues are being addressed. Unceded lands. How did this mining operation even get foot into our territory? And this is what we this is what we addressed here when we went and did our action at the at the polling station is to wake the nation up that the women, the last line of defense, are standing there and confronting this oppressive system.